Okay, welcome everyone. You clicked on this video because you wanted to see general research, this general research box set created for the Life EP. So I'm going to be separating this video into four parts. The first will be general research history. The second will be the music. The third will be the box set. And the fourth will be like the clothing and kind of going in depth on it because it does connect to some later general research stuff. So yeah. Okay, so firstly, what is general research? Okay, General Research is a Japanese fashion label created by Satsumasa Kobayashi and it kind of now fits in the lane of Corpcore, but that label didn't really exist at the time where the brand was still functioning because it's now called Mountain Research, but it was created with the idea of functionality of garments and kind of a mixture between functionality and making clothes fashionable, so that intersection, and I think it pulls it off pretty well. There's many iconic pieces, especially from the 1998 collections, as most people have seen the Parasite jacket with all those pockets. It's just hyper-functional, but to the point where the hyper-functionality makes it fashionable. It's just that weird, that weird lane that he kind of paved himself. But I would definitely say the functionality of the garment is put before the actual look of it, as he wears and creates this clothes for it to be worn outside, to be worn hiking. And since he's wear testing all these garments, then if it doesn't serve the purpose of being functional and being wearable in that context, then he just won't release it. Okay, now about the music, what is the Life EP? Uh, definitely before I speak on it, I recommend all of you guys actually listen to it. It's uploaded onto my channel. Uh, I'm gonna uh, link it in the comments. But just listen to it. It's only four tracks, very short. And then come back because I'm gonna be talking about like production and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna hope that you guys did it. Okay, so the production is mainly handled by four people. The first is Toru Takeuchi. He was the guitarist in the band The Checkers. But he does production for the first and fourth track. The second would be production duo Malawi Rocks, which features DJ Emma and Toru Kawauchi. And then the third is Kantakagi. Most people know him. Major Force. He was part of uh, Tiny Panks with Hiroshi Fujiwara. Amazing producer. The production is kind of all over the place. As you know, the first and fourth song have like guitar kind of in that like rock or folk genre but the second and third are more like house electronic techno songs but the main thing that holds this album together is the poem that's being read by roger clark i have no clue who this roger clark is there's like nothing on discogs I have no clue who the person is but he's reading a poem created by satsumasa kobayashi that's the main purpose of the life ep so i guess you could kind of call it spoken word because he is reading this poem and that's the main component in every single one of these songs. But the poem is about life, sound, silence, like all these things. It's a very weird poem, very abstract, but the weirdness kind of brings it all together, I would say. So the poem, so the poem that is being read out, I'll just read it out for you by Satsumasa Kobayashi. It says, silence, there is always sound exists because silence exists. If there is no sound, there is no silence. Life is learning how to stop fighting with yourself. Life, to a long time to be doing nothing. Guarantees to life. Huh, there ain't none. Look around. Learn all the lives around you are teaching. Life's an adventure. In adventuring in your soul, life is getting drunk, stroking one's ego. Life's ending, who knows? Life. It doesn't go your way all the time, but it's not so bad. So as you see, there's like a, a lot being talked about, but as you can see, the whole premise of it is life, talking about life, the hardships in life, struggle, and also sound, which is like what it opens up with, talking about sound. Sound can only exist with silence. It's a very abstract, but it works. Okay, if you check on Discogs right now, you can probably see that there's a vinyl of this Life EP. It was released in 2002. This box set released in 1998, so I do not know why they would release a remix EP like four years later, but it has the same four tracks. Two other tracks, I forgot one of them, but one of them is a 
a remix on one of the songs done by Kaito. He's a techno producer. He created an album called Special Love. Very good. But that one you can acquire for like pretty cheap. But I have yet to find another version of this anywhere. Even tried searching in Japanese. But when my account for Discogs gets uh, approved, I'm gonna upload this. Uh, another weird thing is on the third track, which is produced by Kan Takagi, in the flyer, it's a special thanks to Hiroshi Fujiwara and also Kudo. If you don't know, they're also, well, everyone knows Hiroshi Fujiwara, founder of Fragment, he did good enough. He's part of Tiny, he was part of Tiny Panks, which was a music group with Kan Takagi. They released all like the last orgy stuff. And then Kudo, another amazing Japanese producer. So I do not know if this means that they had a hand in production. They weren't actually credited, only in the special thanks, so I don't know. I'd, I'd like to think that they had a hand in producing that song, but just a fun fact. Okay, so now I'm actually talking about the box set. So it came inside this box. There's nothing really special about this box except you could see I, the camera's not gonna focus, but says number 307 on it and that's because this was released only one day at a store in japan i'm guessing because it has the zero there it was out of 1000 but i kind of doubt that they sold a thousand of these so i'm gonna just guess uh, number 307 out of 500 so this is a very limited release one day gone and the fact that this is like a box set being released leads me to think that there is just a normal like CD release of this album in 1998, but I don't have any proof of that. I'm just assuming. Okay, so as you can see on the front, it just has this is the Brain logo that's on the CD. It's the album cover, and in this text, it just has the poem. That Sitsumasa Kobayashi made. Inside, there's a bunch of stuff about credits. I, I put scans all of, of all this on Instagram, so if you want like actual good photos of it, check there. But it just comes with CD, put a picture of it on the screen, a good scan. This button thing, it's, it's pretty old since it's from 1998, but it just has the brain in like a red outline that says silence, there is always sound exists because silence exists if there is no sound there's no silence so again the poem is being used again this is another exciting part it has this vhs so i do not know how to like transfer it digitally if you know please dm me on instagram i really i want to get this uploaded it looks very interesting and yeah just please tell me I'll get it uploaded onto this channel once I find out. Yeah, on the back, just nothing special. You know, General Research has their, like, numbering system done by style. So they have the sticker, General Research 1998, style 297. I do not know if this is, like, an actual corresponding style onto their style book. Just especially for the album. I don't know. But just attention to detail. General Research is always very well organized. And yeah. Okay, and for the last part, this t shirt behind me. So the t shirt came inside this like compressed cube, I guess, because you know it's the best way to make it fit in the space. I know general research when they release when they release t shirts in like the nineties they would release them vacuum sealed. So this is kinda of in the same way, you know, ultra functional, kinda of take up the least space you can very very hiking-esque but it came inside that compressed form just add water I'm happy that it actually came like that because it preserved it I don't know how well the shirt would have held up because it is from 1998 so that's like 23 years ago so yeah held up well as you can see it's printed on a Juanita blank which is normal for general research I think that's their go-to blank and on the front nothing special it just has this print that says life in subtle puff print also as you can see this has the tag on the bottom just has the general research cube logo and on the back 
just this general research still crumpled up because it was kind of compressed for like 20 years. But on the back, it has again the brain logo, which is the album cover, and it has the poem written again, this time in just like a bolded out, uh, looks like Times New Roman. I don't really know my fonts, but has a bolded out written in puff print. Very well kept, of course, and yeah. Uh, what's what I found kind of interesting and what kind of ties into later general research is that this is not the only time this poem has been used uh, as a print on a shirt in his 2003 collection flowers and sunshine days I actually found one shirt that has the same poem written without the brain but just written which kind of makes you think he doesn't really view this as exclusive this poem, even though it was probably created just for the Life EP, the it's not exclusive just to the clothing and merchandise of that. And I guess it fits in with that hiker mentality of, and like environmentalist mentality of reusing. And even though this was already used once, this poem doesn't mean that it's exclusive just to that. And you could reuse it as many times as you want as that poem is very broad and could kind of fit into any one of his collections but yeah if you stuck for this whole video thank you this is like my first actual youtube video so planning to do more more cool fashion stuff life an adventure in adventuring in your soul